All right, hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to actually show you some of the testing I've been doing for Eternal Weekend. I played this really fun match uh, and actually got my opponent fairly upset in the chat and thought I'd, uh, I'd show it off to you because it was a very cool, cool match. Uh, so we're playing this five color uh, beans deck. Uh, our opponent's playing uh, workshops and I'm gonna let it play here for a bit. Uh, pretty straightforward game so far. Waste on the Ancient Tomb. Uh, again, it's just Grim Monolith. Our hand's pretty slow. We don't have a Force Will. I'm not sure if I'm actually supposed to keep these hands in the dark on the draw, but I think it's like fine. Um, and then, yeah, so my opponent's gonna play a Saga. We play our fetch land, play our own wasteland. Luckily, they don't have any other fast mana. They don't wanna burn their Monolith, but here they go for Time Walk. Nothing we can really do here. Uh, hopefully they don't have like anything too crazy. Uh, I didn't want to brainstorm because the time walk is just an explore, and it's like, I'll brainstorm in response to something big. So here they go Covet a Jewel, we, and now I'm like, okay, well I need to brainstorm. So for, uh, I'm just gonna pause it. Uh, oh. So for anyone who doesn't know what Covet a Jewel does, this is a commander card that came out a few years ago. Uh, when a six mana artifact, ETB draw three, taps with three, and then whenever uh, a creature your opponent controls attacks and isn't blocked, uh, they draw three and get it. Like it's, uh, you play hot potato with it basically. It's kind of like the monarch. Uh, anyway, so I brainstorm, hit my force, they force back, so my opponent gets to draw three cards. Uh, sucks to suck. Oh. So, opponent draws three, they're up to five cards. Uh, Metamorph here, uh, again, this is coming to play, so my opponent gets to do this a bunch. There's, my opponent just draws up to nine cards, which is pretty crazy. And the, these all tap for three mana, right? They're permanent Black Lotuses. Plays a ton of fast mana, plays one ring, draws another card. So here, all I've got to do is I have Lavinia. And so Lavinia is really, like, this card's extra crazy in Vintage. It stops a lot of things, uh, both the free spells restriction and the... Uh, you can't cast not creatures unless you have enough lands. Uh, both of those effects are really, really strong. So uh, we're gonna hopefully uh, hope this buys us enough time for us to do something. So uh, my opponent goes activates Ring of Bond, uses Key to untap Ring, which is also a sick interaction. Um, and so, but uh, what happens here? My opponent drew nine cards with this Coveted Jewel and then drew another three and couldn't come into the board because this card was disrupting their, a lot of their power plays. So, uh, and what's nice here is I have this Leyline Binding, so when my opponent goes to make a Construct off the Sega, I get to Binding it and actually get in with this Lavinia. And so, yeah, my opponent asks me here why. And I'm like, what do you mean? Because I've just blown them out, right? I get to draw nine cards. And I'm like, why what? <laughs> this seems very good. <laughs> Am I missing something? Uh, and they're like, oh, this card's unplayable, which it, it does feel pretty bad. But Leyland Binding has felt a lot better today than it did in my first day of testing. So anyway, basically what I do, I'll just, I'll pause the replay here. So... I drew nine cards, and I got three untapped uh, lotuses. So that gives me a lot to go off of. So I start playing beans so that I can draw through my deck. And basically what I want to do is I don't want to give my opponent another turn. Obviously, they can't force anything here. So what I want to do is hit my time lock as fast as possible. So I'm like, I'll play these beans, and then I'll start playing, like, mandrels. This is going to draw me two cards. And then I've got Lorian. I've got Gush. I've got Merchant Scroll for Ancestral. Uh, so I've got a few things I can still do, and I can dig really hard to try and find a time walk. Uh, so. My hand gets super massive here. Uh, here you'll see I cast Gush. Gush is crazy with Beanstalk, so I get to draw four of my Gush. And then, yeah, sure enough, there's my time walk, and my opponent concedes. So, uh, <laughs> we were super far behind. But our opponent, yeah, this is vintage. You cannot play Triumphs or Leyline Binding. They said a bunch of other stuff after that, but I was just like not, uh, not super interested in engaging. Um, but uh, so yeah, it, it turns out you can uh, get wrecked. <laughs> 